Breaking news now from the White House, where NBC News has now confirmed that the Office of Personnel Management Director Catherine Archuleta has resigned. She's come under fire after that hacking scandal that put more than 20 million of U.S. government employees' personal information in the hands of hackers. NBC News senior White House correspondent, my colleague at the White House, Chris Jansing, joins us with more. Chris, what are you hearing there? Kristen, this happened very quickly, as you know, less than 24 hours after the extent of this massive breach was known. Let's take you back to exactly what happened. Five times as many people affected as was first believed, 21 and a half million people. That means that virtually everyone who has undergone a background check by the government in the last 15 years has been affected by this. And almost immediately we saw the reaction uh, from, con from Congress. Uh, there were many people who were already calling for Archuleta's uh, firing, uh, but that number grew and included a Democratic Senator Mark Warner. Now, what's interesting about this is that Archuleta did a conference call with reporters yesterday. I was on that call and she was asked about whether or not she would resign and she categorically said she wouldn't. She said she was the person uh, to move the agency forward to make the repairs that are necessary uh, to fix this and make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, but late yesterday I was contacting a senior White House officials who refused to say that she had the president's support. So uh, clearly this uh, resignation uh, was pushed for her to put in and was accepted immediately by the President. They've already named an acting director. She's Beth Cobert. She is currently the directing, uh, the deputy director for management there. Uh, but there's a lot still to be done here. Uh, talking to the people, there's a, a lot of upset within the federal government from employees and their representatives. And in fact, there's already action on Capitol Hill to give the vast number of people who are affected here uh, essentially lifetime uh, uh, management of their accounts to make sure that nothing happens. Because one of the points that was made yesterday is that there's no indication that any of this information has actually been used. But earlier this week, uh, before a congressional committee, we heard the FBI director Comey say not only that it wasn't just him, but members of his family who were involved with this information breach, um, his, his, his uh, children, uh, so some of his siblings. And so this goes so wide, and there's a lot um, of explaining that is going to continue to have to be done, including what the federal government is going to do next to make sure that this doesn't happen again, Kristen. Absolutely. Just a breathtaking breach. Chris, thank you for those late breaking details. We want to read you a statement just released by Archuleta, who says in part, quote, I conveyed to the president that I believe it is best for me to step aside and allow new leadership that will enable the agency to move beyond the current challenges and allow the employees at OPM to continue their important work. We'll be right back after a quick break.